Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm be showing you how to create a gradient black and white effect in Adobe Photoshop. This is a really simple effect, so let's get started. First things first, what we need to do is we need to import a uh, photo to use. I'm using one from Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service for an unlimited amount of photos, stock video, templates, etc. Check out the link in the description below. What we're gonna be doing right here is we're gonna be going up to our adjustments. We're gonna look for the black and white effect. It's gonna make the entire thing black and white. Now, to begin, let's actually edit the black and white image here. These sliders are great to sort of add pop to areas. For example, if I bring the yellow up, you can see that it brings up the skin tones here. So we wanna bring that up a little bit. Uh, with the reds, we can, yeah. Let's make those pop a little bit too. It'll create a nice uh, contrast. Maybe bring the yellow as a touchdown so that the face isn't overblown. Maybe the red's a touchdown. Uh, the blues, we can actually bring that down and sort of create that as our contrast point in the background. And then the cyans will also be one as well. So let's sort of have it right there. So now we've created a nice black and white image of this right here. To get a gradient going, click on the little box right here, the layer mask box, and we're going to go over and we're gonna find our gradient tool. It might be under paint bucket or 3D material. Click and hold and find the gradient tool. We need to make sure this is black and white down here. Quick way to do that is to drop this down, go to basics, click on the black and white. Now we're ready to go. We have a whole bunch of options of how we might wanna do this. For example, the basic gradient, we could maybe make it go from left to right like this, sort of color into the, the black and white zone. If you ever flip these colors, it'll flip the effect. As you can see, it flips the side. So in this particular, when white is on top, it means where you click is where the black and white will be and where you end is where the color. Reverse, where you click the color is gonna be and the end will be black and white. A fun one to do is this radial effect. If we click on the center of her face and bring it out a little bit, maybe a little bit more, that's how we get that circle, the one that we started with. Another fun one is this sort of polygon one. This one's a good one to create like a very um, aligned, sort of one with a little bit of transition around the top edge here. So if you actually click right at the top of, of the face here and maybe go across, you can create a really cool looking effect like so. We have this one as well, which is going to create a line. So for example, we could create a center line here and give her color while also at the same time making the, back, the background black and white, also a neat effect. And then finally we have this sort of oval one, a lot like the circle, but it's more of just a little more of an oval in its nature. And you can see that it's actually a star down here. So you, it sort of creates uh, bursts over the top. But that is how you quickly create a nice gradient black and white effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below and make sure to hit that subscribe button to make videos on all the different Adobe products. And it's important to learn all the different features of different products because they work together really nicely. So hit that subscribe button for more tutorials in the future. Until next time, everyone, see ya.